morning in the here. Ginny Ruffner is one of the best-known glass artists in the U.S. Her one-of-a-kind sculptures are vibrant, exquisitely detailed, and often humorous. Over the years, Ruffner became famous for a technique called lamp working, also known as flame working. It involves using a torch to melt and shape the glass rather than blowing it. But in 1991, at the peak of her career, Ruffner almost died in a three-car accident. It's scary when you can't talk. It's scary when you can't paint or draw or do what you've always done all your life. An award-winning documentary about her life explores that dark chapter. Ruffner was in a coma for five weeks and a wheelchair for five years. But she overcame her injuries, and although she still has difficulty walking and talking, has willed herself back to work. Now she has a team that helps bring her vision to life. She calls it a benign dictatorship. Now I'm the one saying, green here, yellow there. But they're the ones who are actually doing it. They recently finished an 8.5-meter-high flower pot made of steel and aluminum installed in downtown Seattle. Ruffner was recently honored at the Smithsonian's Renwick Gallery in Washington, D.C., with a special screening of a not-so-still-life The Ginny Ruffner Story. Afterwards, an exhibit of Ruffner's glass sculptures and prints opened at a D.C. gallery owned by Maureen Littleton. Littleton has known Ruffner for more than 25 years. She... Uh, uses her imagination and her mind to put together shapes and forms and subjects in a way that you haven't seen. Ruffner says it's been a long journey, but the hardest part has not been the physical challenge. I detest being taken for granted, being ignored. The way I talk, people assume that I'm either really old or kind of retarded. And that is so frustrating. But she is steadfast. Fortunately, I've done a lot of stuff in my life, so I know that the best thing is to be open to the mystery. Who knows what great things will happen. I'm sure there are many more to come. Although she's influenced people in a technical way, she also sets a, an example of someone who, despite losing technical facility, she's still able to work and do more than ever before. Ginny Ruffner's art is in more than 40 museums around the world. Her work and her life continue to inspire people, young and old. Julie Tabo, VOA News, Washington.